Hey, long time no see. Okay, so I decided I really, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but then at the same time, especially if you guys are married to someone, um, a, a narcissist, and you guys know that it's like when they apologize and stuff, you know, have you guys heard of the difference between a breakdown versus a breakthrough? I, I've seen lots of breakdowns, but I didn't really get or understand what a breakthrough was until this, the past time. So let me explain. Um, when I was seeing Dr. Hawkins, he had me write a hurt letter to Mike, but then Mike stopped going to counseling. And so I, Dr. Hawkins still had me like print out the hurt letter. And he said me and him would personally go through it. So that way I could heal from past trauma. And well, um, one day Mike found that hurt letter and he read it and he wrote me a letter saying that honestly he thinks that after reading that hurt letter that honestly may have changed his life and that he was truly sorry of course you know I've heard sorry's before I just kind of like shrugged it off didn't really think anything of it you know like okay you know this is just another one of those times like he's apologizing like he always does um so I didn't really like respond or you know I just kind of like shrugged it off then a couple days later um, I think we, I had to go over and get the kids or something at his place. And then we like talked, um, in person and I kind of, you know, brought it up about, you know, the letter and, and then he, he started talking about like, yeah, you know, I've just reading that letter really opened my eyes. And he was like, I just, he's like, I honestly didn't think I was that bad, but reading the letter, I realized like, wow, I've really hurt you. I've really done some things and like that now like I really understand where you're coming from and why you are the way you are to me that you're just like protecting yourself you're protecting yourself from everything I've done to you and I never heard him talk like that before and I just started crying like I felt like when that it's interesting how you don't feel all the walls you have up until something like that happens and then you can kind of feel like like you could take some of those walls down when they talk like that. Does this make any sense to you guys? You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's really neat. But um, but then also when he apologized, usually when he apologizes, like out of this desperation of like, I'm hurting, like he's hurting and he's apologizing because he wants me to make him feel better. You know, so it's, so it's really, it's just more about him and he's lonely and he's sad and he wants the, you know, company or whatever. It's not about me. Whereas this time he was very a standoffish so you know like not like forcing me like you need to accept this apology no it was like I need to apologize for everything I've done but I understand like it's gonna you're gonna take time like it's gonna take time for you to know that I'm different and so that was very different than the usual you know than the breakdown like I definitely felt like this was a breakthrough for the first time ever like I was like this is different. This is different than those breakdowns. This is a, this is a breakthrough. Like this is a like, wow, like he knows. And so, um, and this happened quite a few months ago now, like the, probably the last time I made a video. And honestly, like I, you know, it's one of those things that it takes time, right? It's just going to take time to see like if it's true, if it's genuine, if it's real. Um, like when I tell him no, what happens? Does he go back to his old ways or does he not go back to his old ways? And it's been good. It's been like I told someone he surprises me in a good way, you know, because I'm like, I'm expecting the worst. I'm constantly, you know, because that's what I've had for 17 years is like, I know what to expect. And so when he doesn't act, when he acts differently, it's like, it's good. It's a good surprise. So that's what's been happening. So a couple things that I would recommend if you haven't done write a hurt letter, even if it's not for them, even if you don't feel like they're in a place, they don't want to hear it, they don't care, write the hurt letter for yourself. It's really healing. And I still plan on even doing some counseling with this hurt letter because I still feel like I need to bring it up and hash it out because I still think I'm holding on to a lot of trauma and I still need to heal even more. But I, but I feel like I'm in a good place. I wanted to share that. I've asked Mike if he would come on a video with me to share his side of things for he, for you to hear in his own words what he's like, how, you know, when his eyes were opened or the way he saw like after reading that hurt letter and what made him change and what made him realize like, okay, this isn't working. Okay. And maybe I need to, you know, he needs to take responsibility for a part in this. So that's it. I wanted to jump on, um, explain the difference breakdown, breakthrough, and hurt ladder. I really 
write a hurt letter, see if they'll read it, see if they'll care. Um, yeah, and then knowing the difference between a breakdown and a breakthrough too is really cool to see that difference. If they just have a breakdown, just keep telling them no because you're not going to get anywhere. You're just, you'll be right back in the cycle again. All right, that was it. Just a quick update. I'm doing really good. We're doing really good. I'm excited. It's cool. It's able, It's nice to be able to talk and and not have World War Three going on or anything crazy. That's it. Hope you guys are doing good. Bye.